In today's video, we're taking a closer look at the recent release by Moon Soaps called Sorrento, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome to the Latherhog channel, where we talk all things wet shaving. Today, we're talking about Moon Soaps, which is new to me, and their most recent release called Sorrento. Now before moving forward, I do want to disclose up front that Moon Soap sent me both the soap and the matching aftershave balm uh, for review purposes. The only conditions in receiving these products was to use them and provide feedback to the artisan. There was no obligation to do this video review and all opinions going forward are my own. Alright, so first up, let's talk about the pricing of each product. For the shaving soap, we're looking at 6 ounces for $20. And for the post shave balm, we're looking at 4 ounces for $16. Now while this is my first time trying Moon Soaps, I've always admired their packaging. And you can see here uh, from the top labels, which are waterproof, side labels are waterproof. I'm a huge fan of the packaging and the artistic design. You can see that it's very much inspired by the packaging of the 1950s and 60s. Let's take a closer look. And you can see around on the top, the outer rim, it lists the ingredients for the soap base. the website moonsoaps.com, right here on the side label. And similarly, the post-shave balm utilizes the same look. Ingredient list on the side here. Also, you can see cap, pump applicator. The recommended amount to use for the balm is two pumps. Before we move any further, if you're like me and love yourself some citrus scents, smash that like button down below. All right, next, let's talk a little bit about the background for this artisan. So Melody Kent is the main artisan behind Moon Soaps, and she is based out of Coralitos, California. Melody started with making bar soaps and sugar scrubs in 2008 and started making shaving products in 2016 when her husband Zach got into traditional wet shaving. A fun fact is that her husband, Zach, helps render the beef tallow used in the shaved soap. Moon Soaps draws inspiration from living on the coast of California, from the beaches of Monterey Bay, to the majestic giant redwood forests. I talked to Melody and found out that they have four different soap bases available currently at the time of this recording. The Sorrento base is the same base as their soap called Old School, and that's in the original tallow formula. Their soap Havana is a tropical scent which has mango butter, palm, and coconut added. Amaretto is an almond scent, and that's actually one that I'll be reviewing in the near future, and this one utilizes almond oil. And lastly, their Union scent features the extra slick tallow formula which has added grapeseed oil and menthol. Alright, so moving on, let's talk about the scent. Right from the start, this scent has the approval of my wife, my son, and my daughter, so I say that's pretty good. Now the following is the official scent description from Moon Soap's website, and it says, Like a serene walk through a cliff-top citrus grove overlooking the Tyrrhenian Sea far below, Sorrento radiates a fresh and energetic blend of the aromatic citrus found on the Amalfi coast of southern Italy. This is a light and youthful fragrance, perfect for warmer spring and summer weather. Next up, let me show you the scent notes on screen and also include them in the description below. And to my nose, scent strength is about a 6 out of 10. And what I got was a very bright citrus and bright fruit forward scent on top of salty sea air. Now I've always equated citrus with warmer weather and the summer months, and I think this will be perfect as a summer seasonal. I think this will be great to use if you're outdoors, hitting the beach, just doing a run or a jog. And I see no problem this being a very enjoyable everyday scent. Next up, I'll be showing you the shave soap ingredients. And 
And the biggest takeaway I think from my uses of this soap is that it is very easy to lather. The soap base is about medium thirst and it can take its water. I didn't find it too easy to break the lather by adding too much water, nor did I find I had to drown the soap to achieve a excellent lather. And last up, let's look at the post-shave balm. Here are the ingredients for the balm. Now, as I've mentioned in other videos before, really testing post-shave products, I think it's its own thing. Um, I have a system worked out to take care of the shave soap, but a lot of times I'm just wrap, you know, wrapping up said shaves with the matching splash, balm, or some complementary product. So I will say for the balm, it absorbs fairly easily into the skin. It's not too thick, it's not too greasy, and it's been formulated specifically uh, to be able to be used all year round. As far as scent, I think there's no difference as far as the balm and the soap. So if you want things to match and extend you know, beyond the shave, this is a good product to pair with the soap. So my overall thoughts for Moon Soaps is this is an excellent product and you definitely get a lot of bang for your buck. Six ounces again for $20 and the balm is competitively priced as well. The packaging is very eye-catching and this, that's what really put it on my radar in the first place. I like that it speaks to the past and the tradition of this style of shaving that we're so into. This scent is very likable and if you're looking for something in your summer arsenal, this one is an excellent choice. As I mentioned before, with the shave soap performance, I think the biggest thing it has going for it is the ease of lather. And again, this is the original tallow formula, as you can see here, written in large letters on the packaging. The lather is on the denser side, which I prefer, nothing too voluminous or puffy. And really, I had no problems with the slickness, or the post-shave feel whatsoever. Now lastly, since people really enjoyed the fragrance pairing from my Zangarian Man Navigator video prior, uh, I do want to recommend really anything from Aqua de Parma, uh, which is also an Italian fragrance house that's been around a long time. You'll be familiar with the scents of Aqua de Parma, Essenza, and some other ones. I will note that this isn't as old school as some of the Aqua de Parmas, so kind of the Blue Bottle series, which is more summery, lighter, more modern, that's definitely what's gonna complement this Sorrento scent very well. There's no musk in there to make it feel like the more traditional scents, and for me, that's actually a good thing. But it does have some complexity, which I think is nice for citrus scents. It's not just straightforward fruits, and that's a win in my book. As we're winding things down here, let me know if you've tried Moon Soaps, and I'd love to know if you use either Sorrento or any of the other Moon Soaps. Let me know your experience in the comments below. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you found this information helpful. To everyone at home, I hope you stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.